Self-sabotage is when you say you want something, but you do everything in your power to not get it. Self-sabotage is when you say, I want to start the business, yet you keep going out wasting your money. Self-sabotage is when you say, I want to be happy, I want to be whole, but you committed to dead conversations. Typically, when we are in pain, we try to find out who or what is causing it. But what do you do when you're the problem? welcome or welcome back to the channel so today's video is sponsored by Dacia and Dacia is a perfume house that makes high-end impressions they have perfected these impression guys every high-end fragrance you can think about that you would want to try they have something they have their own version of it which smells exactly spot one but for a fraction of the cost like their perfumes range from like 29 39 the 40s but not 300 200s or even 400s so if you like a fragrance you have some high-end fragrance that you would want to try i promise you if you go on their website they have a impression of it that you can try for half the price and what i love guys dacia is cruelty free it is made in france and also what I love is if you order from them and you don't like the fragrance when you get it, you can return it for free, no questions asked. I love that Dossier makes fragrance accessible to everybody. You don't need to have like a lot of money to smell good. I feel like we all should have that luxury of smelling good and just feeling amazing because right now I smell so good. I feel good, okay? Perfume, fragrance, it's the icing on the cake you can't be ready you can't get dressed and not have perfume i would perfume even to go to sleep this fragrance that i was spraying just now is ambery cedarwood and this is their impression of thierry mcglear alien and baby it smells so 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 good i've been wanting to try alien for a while but i just didn't i don't know i didn't want to take the plunge and pay all that money to be honest and then not know if i like it but this impression is spot on spot on because i've sampled alien and yeah it is it smells it smells really really good and i wore this the other night to sleep just to see if when i woke up it would still be on my skin and it was and i did get a few others i have mason margella by the fireplace right here by the fireplace this is how it comes i love how the boxes come super pretty super pretty super aesthetic love it and this does smell like by the fireplace i am so sad that i got this one you know after fall is gone and it's like springtime but it's okay it's okay we're still gonna wear her if i go in at nighttime i'm gonna wear her because i want it by the fireplace but i just didn't want to buy it for the price if i'm being completely honest and also i think i did get a byrito fragrance now those fragrances the prices go crazy and mm -mm, mm -mm. i smelled one uh before and i just didn't think it was doing it for me to want to commit to 300 plus dollars so i decided to get the dossier ambery vetiva i don't think i pronounced that right baby because it's french <laughs> dossier is made in france so that's what i got and it's inspired by the byrito fragrance it's not my favorite because i realized like on me it has a little bit more of like a little lemony scent but the thing about it too if you get a fragrance from dossier that you don't like they'll take it back you can simply just start a return free of cost no questions asked <laughs> so we love that we love that we love that and guys dossier also has their own original scents they have come out with quite a few and they were kind enough to send me one from their speakeasy collection and this one is the bubbly spritz and bitters and this is supposed to be like a boozy like kind of fragrance it's supposed to be like a drink kind of fragrance and yeah i love how it smells it is gourmand and citrusy oh my god it's good like this is a good springtime scent. You do smell that gourmand scent to it, but it also it's also citrusy, so it's fresh, but it's, it smells like like yum, if that makes sense. I don't know what those sounds were, but it's, it smells yummy. But 
also fresh so i really like that it has orange blossom vanilla it has orange flower Nairoli, mandarin so it's really very citrusy but it also has a gourmand vibe to it but yeah that's what they sent me oh my god guys and they sent me a can i got so many good things this month they sent me a can because dossier now has candles and they also sent me a room diffuser which i will insert somewhere so y'all can see check them out all the links to the website will be down below let's get into today's vlog y'all Try, try, try. You find it 
tell me what to do, say anything. That's all I got. Um, that is all I got. <laughs> I'm tired. I did the bathroom as you guys would have seen. I haven't done my bathroom since moving in so I really needed to take the time to thoroughly clean that bathroom. It took me a few hours not with like the cleaning but making um, the storage stuff like figuring out where I'm gonna store stuff unpacking stuff getting rid of stuff like it took me a hot minute so there is that the bathroom is thoroughly clean i'm good with it for right now anything else would be like additives like if i'm going to add picture frames and different things right now that's not even what i'm focused on i just needed it clean like deep cleaned and functional because it was just a mess i felt like i was on top of everything and i couldn't take it anymore um so i did that it took me forever all the Amazon stuff that I used, I'll link them. Um, my room, I vacuumed, like a good vacuum, and I vacuumed the hallway. 
and that's all I have in me. We were supposed to go into my filming room to unpack the boxes that are in there and you know kind of set everything in place just so I can see where I am. Baby, we're not getting to that. I just turned the oven on. I put some chicken in there. I'm going to go downstairs, finish cooking. Here. <laughs> Still disastrous okay just not giving um i don't know this wall needs something i'm still thinking of putting back the mirror there uh yet to get to this bathroom we'll do that maybe maybe in the next two days but i'm gonna get to that khalil's room oh my goodness We'll get to it. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. It's not terrible. It's not dirty. It's actually clean because I vacuumed here. So it's clean. Mm. I got to get rid of those boxes. I'm either going to take those things out and put them in a the closet or something just so it doesn't feel too crazy. But yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, 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 guys. Still a lot of work to do. But we thank God. Yeah, we thank God. We're gonna sort this place out. We're gonna sort this place out. I'm still debating. I wanna put a little, I think I'm gonna put a curtain around right there, I don't know. I thought about moving this vanity, not this vanity, this dresser and putting it here and then putting a closet, like a pack system on that back wall. I don't know. That's why I haven't hung up the picture frames because I don't know what I wanna do. Um. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, at least my bedroom feels so clean oh the carpet feels good it smells clean just nice and blank <laughs> but it's okay it's okay we're getting somewhere um you're on the long tripod so that might not be the best Bathroom is clean. Thought I said I was gonna go downstairs. I am. Why does the light look like that? Uh, okay. Clean. Only for us to pack our stuff on those shelves. Yeah, and the toilet is clean too. I can't be bothered to go over there, but the toilet is clean. Everything is clean. So it feels a little bit better. No. Mm -mm. Guys, I had my shower. I took Paxton for a walk. My hair still looks the same because, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do my touch up, but I didn't do it yet. So, you know. Oh, oh that's too quick. That's a lot. <laughs> Y'all, he don't want his food because there's no toppers on there. Accent, we're out of toppers, so yeah. You can eat if you want to. I don't know if I'm gonna eat something. Have so much to organize. The pantry, baby. I just be throwing everything everywhere. Um. <laughs> and somehow the like the bottom became this I have to figure out how we're gonna organize these things I use paper towel a lot so I didn't want to bring it upstairs because I have to come back to get it uh so I left it there and those are Paxson's food treats and stuff 
diffusers, some junk, which I need to figure out. My steppy stool because I had to use this quite a tidbit. Um, I don't know. This shelf is for my gym stuff, my protein, my supplements, random rice over there, disposable stuff, canned stuff. I don't but know. Bags. Whatever groceries I had from the other house. That's what's in here, honestly. The stuff from the other house for the most part. Um, these need to go upstairs, but I just can't. These are decor stuff that I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing with right now. So they're going to go upstairs. Some wine. What is that? Rice. <sighs> um, and I bought a box of cereal. I don't like cereal, but I bought that before I was moving. I don't know why. Anyways, we're just gonna get out of my business for right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Zones. Don't judge my plate. There's some chicken legs, leftover rice, some potato salad I had in the fridge. Ooh! And a little bit of lemonade. <laughs> I'm gonna find me some watch. I'm gonna watch something.
story is powerful. What Christ did in your life is powerful. What you've been through, the choices, your story is so good, you ought to use it to convince yourself. There are some days I use my story to preach to me. When things get hard, when I get up here and I wonder, God, are you going to do it again? I think about last and the Sunday before that, and the Sunday before that, I think about the things he brought me through, how he set me free from my addiction, how he rescued me from anxiety, how he restored my marriage, how he healed my kids. I'm a Lazarus. Sometimes you got to share your story with yourself. Preach to yourself to get you. Because let me tell you something, people can deny facts when it comes to sharing your story, but they can't deny your story. You say, well, I believe in Jesus because in the 1700s, they found an artifact in the Middle East and that proves and this is that. And if you try to come at somebody with your set of facts, they're going to have their own set. But what does a person tell you when you have a story? Guys, this vanity was gifted to me by Yuda Holmes. The links for the vanity will definitely be in the description box below. If you watched my previous vlog, you would have known this vanity took me quite a bit of time to assemble. I needed help. It wasn't a one person job. So if you order, just know that you will need some assistance with assembling it. It does not come pre-assembled. I loved what it turned out to be, but honestly, the process to get it together I did not enjoy it because I did not have any help off the bat. But yeah, I love it. The lights work, the lights change. You can have warm or cool tones. And you just see me here organizing it. Finally, just like getting my makeup off the ground and 
I love the look of this vanity. I really love the look of it, but it takes work. That's all I'm going to say. Definitely check out the links below for this vanity if you are interested. Thank you to Yida Homes for gifting us this product. so i'm finally done packing my makeup in the vanity we are no longer in that box and i have a bag right there of makeup that i threw out because i had a whole bunch of stuff that was expired really really old i mean i did do like a cleanse in terms of throwing stuff out before i moved but when i really looked into it i was holding on to so much product that i haven't used in like forever and they were hella expired okay they were expired so i have just like fewer items but actual items that i use in the bigger drawer i put um my primers i took this drawer out and i feel like i didn't put it back in properly i might have to remove it and then put it back because it keeps hitting on something and i don't know what it is but in this drawer, I have my primers, foundation, concealers, and all my powders, like my translucent, all my translucent powders and setting stuff. And then in this little one, I have brow stuff, eyeliners, mascaras, my sharpener, my tweezer. Um, I think this is eyebrow gel and my eye drops. In this one, I put my lip stuff, so lip glosses, matte lipsticks, the reds. Oh my god, my hand is so ashy, ew. Um, and a whole bunch of YSL lippies that I got that I haven't used because they're not my color, but yeah. Anyways, this other drawer, I have my bronzing stuff and my blush stuff. Again, more face products. This one has like palettes and honestly I threw out some palettes and I still could throw away some more because these are old, like old. Um, I don't really use eyeshadow anyway so I just kept them. And this one, my beauty blenders. These need washing. I washed brushes today. I didn't remember about those. And then like some new ones and just like some extra little containers. The other one is empty because I don't have anything to put in it right now. And then on this side, I put my sprays, like my setting sprays, um, some liquid blush that I got that I don't use. And yeah, this drawer has lash extensions. And then I tried doing cluster lashes the other day and they came off like really quickly. So yeah, I bought another set to try these are just lash stuff and my fan um oh this is my charlotte tilbury mask with this one you put it in the freezer and then you use it i might use it today so there's that the bottom drawer is empty too there's nothing else um that's pretty much all that's in the vanity the plug i can't figure out how to hide them too much um so there's that. That's the only thing that's bugging me. I did push the remainder of this cord behind here, but 
that one I can't do anything about. And what I love is that these plugs actually work. And you have a USB, well, two in this for your hair tools. Um, I guess I will try sitting down to do my stuff in the morning, like get dressed at this table or whatever, when this room is a little bit more functional. But at least I have a clear space for my makeup now because where it was, wasn't working out. And then once my brushes dry, I can put them up here or better yet, we have empty drawers. I might put the brushes in the drawer if they fit and just keep the top clear or I just put them on top of there. Like it doesn't even matter. Um, the rest of the room, <laughs> I'm gonna throw those in the garbage. This box need to get out of here. This is some hair products and like stuff for my wigs. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. I wanna buy a, like a little three tier card. I saw one at Target with, that has like wheels on there. I think it's a utility card, I don't know. I could pack all the stuff that I use for my hair videos and then just throw them in the closet. So we could possibly go to Target maybe tomorrow to get that. Um, those are the frames that were over my bed, which I don't know what to do with as yet. Still contemplating because it would make so much sense to just put a PAX unit here um, and then move the dresser to here. I don't know what I want to do or put the packs, take one of this and have it there with some artwork, you know, a little side storage and then have, have the packs as, oh my God, everything is falling. And then have the packs as my background for my videos and my perfumes. It could store some stuff because right now I don't know what to do, but for now I'm just going to leave it like this until I figure it out. I need to measure this wall and see I think maybe three pieces would be needed to go here but something gotta give because yeah I need to feel happy when I come in here but at least for now one side one area not even one side when I pass by that little door it doesn't look bad okay this is a good color are a little thinner than I thought so I don't know oh I received this from my first wig in December and I never opened it it is so nice oh my god it's a puzzle photo frame stop it ah the girl baby I'm gonna put this right here so I can remember who I am like Wow, this is one of my favorite photos of myself. And the fact that they made it into a puzzle. They have sent it to me um, for Christmas. But I never opened it. Oh my god. So cool. So cool. Ooh. And it can stand. I want to go do my makeup and get fine right now. This picture makes me want to be that girl. Like, are you stupid? Like, what? Guys, I am obsessed with this. Oh my God. It had like a uh, film on the front and on the back and I took it off. It makes it more opaque, but it is so nice. And look at the little legs that it has. Oh girl. Yes, thank you my first wig. And it goes with my vanity so well. Oh my goodness. Now every time I wanna do my makeup, I'm gonna be pressured like, listen. You can get your makeup to look like this. We gotta look like this. <laughs> I have not done a beat like this one in a hot second. Like this day, I did 
lashes. I did everything. I sat down, I took my time, and the makeup came out. Mwah, chef's kiss. Hey girl. This makes me so happy. So, so happy. Your home is now disarmed. Ready to arm. Hey babes, um, so I just had my breakfast. Oh, what is in my eye? <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do a makeup face. Nothing crazy. I just have two wigs that I need to do something for she in with. I need to get it done today so I can edit today and I can post by tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I didn't go to the gym this morning. I went to Paxton out really quickly, came back, made some eggs and bacon, had some coffee, and now I'm just gonna do this. I'll be right here doing this. Um, I'm gonna try and do it as quick as possible because I have to start editing. I also have some in-house things to do, some documents that I need to sort out. It's just like a whole bunch of stuff that I need to get done. And I'm already tired in advance. I wanted to start off the week um, with the gym, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that today. I'm gonna see how best I can use the time and how quickly I can get everything done. But I'm gonna do my makeup, that's the first thing I need to do. And yeah, I will check in with you guys later because I'm not doing anything crazy today. The guy was supposed to come back to fix the curtains downstairs for me, so let's see if he does. And guys, I have figured out what I'm gonna do in this room. I'm definitely getting the PAX unit. I did the measurements last night. And let me tell you how the exact unit that I had in um, my apartment in Fort Lauderdale is exactly the size that fits right in the space imagine i already had the unit i have to buy the same three shelves like the same three sizes that is the only thing that'll fit in this area i already had that but i don't think it would have lasted if i kept it anyways like moving i moved to two different apartments after that and then moving here i don't know if it would have lasted that would have been like three moves so we're gonna rebuy <laughs> something that we already had but it's okay it's gonna be perfect the measurements and everything and then yeah I already have the idea and I'm thinking I want to put this dresser in the closet but I won't move it until I actually buy the pieces for the wardrobe because then it's just gonna look weird I tried moving it last night and it was just a hot mess so it's just gonna stay there until I actually buy the pieces was like having another detective there, but a detective who knew more than you. Try to forget. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pa. 
Ow. Guys, I'm done with the wigs. Baby, I did not know I was going to like this one. Like this little bob with the bangs. She's giving, she's giving everything, everything. Like it's, it's a 10 inch bob. Mm -hmm. I used to always have like a bob bang wig in my closet before I ever started doing this YouTube thing. Like I used to always have a bob with bangs because yeah, we never used to do bad hair days. No, we always have bad hair days sometimes, but I always have a wig, the bob with the bangs. So, you know, I could always pop her on. I can find mad photos with me in a bob bang wig, like different lengths, like this length or the 14 inch one, like I, I would have different lengths, but this has always been something that I wear. And if you know me from like a long, 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 long time ago, I just always wear a wig like this. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm done with the wigs. I have to go edit, but I'm hungry. And I had like two coffees because I needed some energy. So now I'm starving. I don't have anything to cook. Um, we still have to do my touch up for my pixie. I'm wondering if I should keep it. I want to keep this on. I was not going to keep her on, but maybe I want to keep it on. This one doesn't come with, um, you know how it would have like a human hair, like lace scalp thing at the top. This one doesn't. This is like an OG Bob Bang wig. Period. I think I'm going to keep it on because we look cute. And I really like this one. Even though these wigs are not going to be on this vlog, it'll be the intro on my other vlog, but these wigs look good. Come on, Shayton. <laughs> and this one was like 20 something dollars. It was cheap. Let me not say cheap. We don't use that word. It was very affordable. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, and this headband wig is giving. It's giving. It can be my gym wig. My new gym wig. Especially the fact that it has a band. Usually these wigs don't come with that. It has a band. I've never seen a headband wig with, wig with a bang. Oh my god, y'all. And I don't have the microphone thingy on, so it might sound really bad. Where is it? <laughs> I took it off because I was using um, I was using this light on top of the camera to do the TikTok. Oh shoot. I done lost my mic. Not even like a real mic. <laughs> It's just the protector thingy, wind, whatever. Oh shoot, how do you put it on? Um, maybe. Uh, okay. And guys, this two piece set that I have on one. Can we talk about how it's from Walmart? I went in there to buy normal stuff as per usual. And I saw this and it was $15. I got it in a medium and I honestly feel like I could do a small, it's mad stretchy. I wanted to try to get a small, but I couldn't be bothered. They have it in blue. Ooh, blue. okay, wait, hold on, sorry. I felt like I was getting real, you know, skin tea, but maybe that would be popping. Um, but yeah, they have it in blue. They have it in a green color that's really pretty. Um, what is this? I think it's by No Boundaries. And then the top is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. The top is like really nice material. It's a little thicker than the, well, it's both good material. And this is the medium. This is the medium and I've been wearing it all day. I want to try um, the blue color and the green color. This is so good for wearing around your house like this is so good and it was inexpensive it's pretty stretchy you know Walmart clothes be stretchy but I'm surprised at how it fits and it feels really comfy so I want to go back there and get a small because this was a medium um, I'm gonna get a small in one of the colors and try but it's pretty comfy I don't know how it will hold up when it washes but it's pretty comfy for $15 we love that um, I need to go to the supermarket. I want to cook some salmon, some rice, some green beans, and broccoli. And I want to make like four plates. So I need to go buy some salmon. Ooh. 
I should just be considering what the hell is wrong with you, girl. Guys, I'm back from. Why do I look like that? I'm back from Publix. Got some green beans, some broccoli, as I said, and some salmon. This banana loaf thing. Just for like my little sweet tooth. Hopefully, I'll eat it because the last time I did not eat it when I bought it, it got wasted. Maybe I should put it in the refrigerator. And then just thaw them out as I go along. Let's see. Um, and I got these creamer. It's a cold foam creamer, but it's not like a dairy or anything. So that's perfect for me. And we got salmon. They didn't really have the type of salmon that I wanted at all. And then the lady asked me if I was Catholic, and I'm just like, why? She's like, because they're having a religious thing this week, like a holy week. So all the salmon has been sold. Like, a lot of people are coming in buying salmon. So there's that. We didn't really get what we wanted, but I got what they had. Just going to wash it real good, and I'm going to cook both pieces. How much was this? Oh, it was like a pound and a half. That's not a lot. Of, that's not a lot. I'm gonna season it. Hopefully, you are seeing me. I'm gonna season it and just like cook it really quickly. And y'all, I was at Publix watching Paxson on the camera and when I left, he was in the crate, right? As soon as I got up the street, he was no longer in the crate. And there's a thing where you can talk to him through the microphone. And I was, I'm like, Paxson, go in your crate. Paxson, go in your crate. You know, the whole time the boy did not go in the crate. And I was wondering if the camera was glitching, but it was not because I kept it on. And by the time I got to the garage and drove in, turned the car off, I saw him like run into the crate and I'm just like, oh, where he was, I don't know. I checked the walls, if he bit the wall, he did not. But he wasn't in the crate and I'm confused because where the camera is, I set it up where I could see in the crate, but clearly I need to move it from there and put it somewhere like lower when I'm leaving specifically so I can see what he's doing because he, he he's playing with me, he's playing with me. And since I came back, he's been in the crate and he hasn't come out because he know, he know he did something. He knows he did something. I kept saying, Pax, I'm going in the crate. Pax, I'm going in the crate. No movement. And as soon as I got in the garage, turned the car off, I saw him on the camera going into the crate. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. And where I have the camera set up is so I can see his crate and I can also see, you know, inside even though that's not necessary because if someone comes by the door it's gonna come up on the other camera and one in the back but Paxton is playing with me playing with me and he's in his crate not coming out so he was up to no good he knows he did something because he's not coming out of the crate check the walls I don't see anything looking wrong I don't know if he did anything out of pocket and I'm just not seeing it yet I don't know don't know what he was doing Mm. These are the containers I got from Walmart. What does it take to be the most watched newscast in America? Yeah, I'm watching the news. I never watch the news, but I'm listening to the news and I'm so sad with what's going on. Turn it down. I never listen to the news. But I saw like a headline on the Echo show and I just clicked on it and then I've just been like listening to everything that's been going on. It's so sad. I can't believe that it's like illegal to do well it's illegal clearly it's not legal what they're doing but nothing can be done about it like I don't understand it's so 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 sad it's not fair what's happening um 
to the people over there like we all are human beings regardless of our skin tone or religion regardless of what we believe in we all have basic human rights and we all have a right to live so i'm just really sad that that's something that's going on <sighs> no words every time <laughs> i just got finished at the gym the AC is on and it's on loud, okay? Cause I don't have a towel or anything, oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> sure, the people in my old apartment, they sick of me cause here I am again. Why are they still delivering stuff over here? I had to come hunt this down and then another package is lost in the wind. And now I think I have to drive to the post office because it's not here and I don't know where it is. Hey babes, I finally made it back to my house like hours later. I had to go to the post office to figure out where my package was. Then <laughs> they said that it was delivered to my old address and then they left it in like the um, the mailbox for the actual apartments. Like it was a mess. Okay, I drove to, or post office is like 20 minutes from here that surfaces this area. And the funny thing is my zip code for my old address and this new one is the same. So there was that, lots of confusion, but I was finally able to track down both packages that I was looking for. Um, yeah, and I think this one is my package from my dossier. So let me see what's going on with that. And I also came home to an Amazon package. I ran out of creatine, so I decided to try the one from One Soul. The one that I had before was the one from EPH Labs, I think that's what it's called, but this one is from One Soul, and the reason why I got it is because the bottle, come on, <laughs> the bottle, the bottle gives, okay, so I'm just like, Booty King knew what he was doing, and um, if you don't know who Booty King is, he, he has a lot of like glute exercises and stuff on the internet, so One Soul is his brand, and yeah, it's so crazy. Just the, just the, the shape of the bottle. Come on. You're going to want to take your creatine every day because this is what we're giving. This is what we want. <laughs> and it was 29 It was a pretty nice price. I didn't even check how much comes in it. Um, I did not check how much comes in it. Hmm. I'm gonna do a quick upper body workout. I'm gonna see if I can record a little bit of it. There's someone here, but hopefully it doesn't get weird. But yeah, I'm gonna warm up first and go grab the thing so we can do this warm up.
you doing <laughs> while I was gone, Faxa? What she was doing? What she was doing? I see your toy over there. What you was doing? Let's <laughs> make some breakfast. Hold on. Let me see if you messed the house up while I was going. Uh, no, nah, it looked like you wasn't doing nothing. I forgot to watch you practicing on the camera this time. Yeah. I'm gonna make me a little bit of breakfast. I did a quick upper body session. Uh, upper body days, it does not take long. <laughs> Every time I do upper body, I feel like I should stay longer or like I'm always like, oh my god, I'm finished like super quick. So I don't know. But we're done. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I just took some chicken out too. Should have taken this out from a, a longer time to thaw to see if we can make some dinner. I don't know. Ooh, this water's cold. Make us some break fast at one o'clock. Nothing to see here, just a normal day. Guys, I think I'm honestly tired of eating eggs. I eat eggs every single day. Uh, I'm gonna boil them. I'm not even about to fry anything. I'm gonna boil these eggs because, yeah, I don't feel like eating them today. So I'm gonna boil instead of frying stuff. Did I just break it? What's your first yeah, husband? before they were ready, I forced them into the marriage, but I wanted to get a husband <laughs> both times, so I said, what the heck? <laughs> so then, but the first one ended, and... Yes, did. And he told you you could never be my first husband. I'm gonna do my relaxer retouch. <laughs> I got this kit on Amazon. Um, it has four applications in it, so I'm just gonna use one that should be enough to do the back and around the front and the areas that are not laying anymore, like... The roots just a little bit i don't want to go too far into my hair maybe just like all the short pieces um and i'm trying to record it i don't know let's see how that goes because i'll be recording stuff I'm trying to make shorter videos and not post them so let's see how that goes <laughs> after you apply it like oh shoot i'm making this short video wait hold on how's that and i probably should have gotten the shampoo and the conditioner in this bathroom before doing this right um i'm gonna have to go to my bathroom was um in my hair to get the other stuff Hey y'all, this is mild, normal resistance. So I put the activator all the way up to resistant because I have resistant hair. My hair is really 
really thick. Let me read this again. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Resistant. Uh oh. That's pretty. <laughs> I don't know why it looked like this. Hold on. Why is it not getting smooth? And then this is saying whatever you don't use, you th throw it away. Okay, now it kind of get is getting smooth, kind of. I did use some Vaseline around my hairline. My hair is a little itchy, I'm not gonna lie, I had the hat on, so that's not good neither, but you know. I think it's good. Yeah. Okay, you didn't see that. Scared, I'm scared. A little bit more. <laughs> I think I use way too much of the thing. I don't know. Oh, I need to go get some gloves. Hold on. Y'all, this is editing me, okay? <laughs> Future me right here. I'm watching this clip and I'm dying because I think I mixed this thing wrong. I put way too much activator and in this clip, I was clearly questioning my choices. Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh my God. Next time I know I won't put that much activator. It was a little thin, the, the mixture, but I mean, it did turn out pretty smooth, but baby, watching this clip is hilarious. Um, I'm not a professional, not by any means at all, okay? So there is that. And my edges were always thin. They're thin on the side. It wasn't the relaxer, it's always been like that. So yeah, we know. Y'all, I'm gonna wash my hair out. <laughs> I found one of my hair towels. So we're gonna use this one. Oh my God. Ooh, it's a little tingly. I think I mixed the thing. I used a little bit too much of the, what this, the thing is called, the the activator. I could have used a little bit less, but I think, I think it, I think it worked. I'm gonna wash it out. We gonna see, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna wash it out. <laughs> I'm gonna wash it over the bath right here. Hopefully, I can fit my head <laughs> under here. But I don't know how else to wash it out without making a mess. And then I'm just gonna clean this bathroom right afterwards. I need to clean it anyways. I'm gonna use some shampoo. I'm definitely going to clean this bathroom as soon as I'm done. Since moving in, I didn't get to deep clean this bathroom. You saw me deep clean mine and, you know, customize it a little bit. I don't have anything to put in this bathroom as yet, you know, like to make it cute. Uh, so we're just gonna deep clean it for now. At least it'll be clean. It's not like anyone really comes in here. Matter of fact, no one comes in here. I don't think 
Yeah, no one comes in here. What am I saying? Who is here? Nobody else is here. So no one actually comes in this bathroom. So I'm going to deep clean it and look into what stuff I'm going to put in here. I think I'm going to put a picture frame over the towel rack. You could probably go to Home Goods and get like a nice little set of towels to hang because this is the only bathroom that has like a rack that you can hang towels and I'll just use that as decor wrap towel that I have. I bought like two. It makes your hair dry really fast and it doesn't dry it out. These little wraps, so you probably can get it on Amazon. I got this at TJ Maxx. And it is clean, by the way. It was in the wash. Ugh. Okay, one more shampoo. Then I'm gonna put the conditioner and I'm gonna leave the conditioner in for like five minutes. And then wash it out. And then I'm gonna add my mousse and, you know, smooth it down. I was supposed to get my touch up like last weekend, like the weekend. Well, what day is today? I was supposed to get it on the weekend. Uh, and I didn't, so I did it now. And then in like the next three weeks, I'll go in to see my hairstylist so she can do my hair and trim it back down. Yeah. But in between, I'm like, I can touch it up a little bit. And especially because I'm going to the gym so much. Like, it doesn't even make sense. So I'll just go to her when I'm due for, like, an actual full relaxer, a trim, shape it back up since we're wearing it really short. And because the hair is so short, it's like it's growing out like nothing. conditioner that I'm using. I think it's pretty good. It's the Design Essential Almond Butter Moisturizing Conditioner and it's for dry, brittle hair. So this is perfect. This is the conditioning treatment. You comb it through and then just leave it. I'm gonna put the cap on. Bro, my hair is really straight. I'm nervous. Why is it so straight? Like, it's supposed to be straight, but like, did I overprocess? I don't think so, because it's not coming out. Like, look. See? It ain't coming out. There's nothing coming out. This will hold me over till my actual six weeks appointment. Well, I'll probably go at seven weeks instead since. I was late on doing the touch-up. But we're really short here, y'all. My stylist told me I needed to touch my hair within two to three weeks. I was gonna do three. Well, I was trying to aim for three. It ended up being three and a half, but she's right. Like after the second week, especially with my hair because it's very coarse, it was not laying down. That pixie was not, it wasn't giving. Guys, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a shower. The chicken is finally done. Listen, I need to go in the shower real bad. <laughs> if I didn't do like upper body, like which is really light today, where I wasn't sweating, as soon as I got home from the gym, I would have gone in the shower. But I was trying to get um, 
a few little things done inside like my hair and stuff so i'm glad i did that i'm gonna shower now for real like i'm so itchy i'm gonna shower and then i can sit and have my dinner and just relax a little bit so and that's pretty pretty much it for the day i'm done we already went out to sour packs then so i'm done for the day i'm just gonna shower do some skincare and i'm gonna leave this on my head overnight i'm gonna add like my scarf to hold it in place and then i'll just style it tomorrow i wanted to like show the end of it with how i was showing it today on tiktok like what it looks like when i do it by myself um so i might get up and do a little like a light little makeup face maybe or maybe not just show them the finished results because i am gonna go to the gym as soon as i go to the gym and i work out you know it's just gonna be a mess it doesn't stay especially when i go sweat and i sweat a lot so yeah and there is a, that a very chill it's thursday it's basically the end of the week